So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about makeup brushes today. I would recommend this video for anyone um, that has gotten a gift um, of makeup brushes, maybe a kit, and you don't know how to use it. So let's get started. I'm first going to talk to you guys about um, foundation brushes. Now there's a bunch of, there's different kind of foundation brushes. Um, most popular one, I want to get that out of the way first. So the most popular one, um, kind of foundation brush that everyone is using nowadays is called the Duo Fiber Brush. And I have three of those to show you. Um, this one I got at Walmart and this was about like seven bucks. This one I got in a set of two. And that's what it looks like, by the way. Okay. So you can see they're very similar in the sense that um, they pretty much work the same. But, um, so yeah, this one I got, it's Essence of Beauty. And I got online for a set of two. And it was like, I don't know, I want to say like, four or five bucks for two of these. Um, this one is a MAC 187 brush. And you could find this on maccosmetics.com. You could find it on eBay. This is how I got mine. Um, there's other places you could find this brush too for less. Um, I think I got this one for like I'm not sure. I'm going to put all that information on the bottom. Um, so please check that out at the end of the video or the beginning so um, you can get an idea of the prices and all that. So, anyway, um, so this brush, I'm going to use this one so I can show you. Um, it has two cut bristles. Um, this one, this one particular brush is goat hair. And um, that's really uh, dense um, fibers, and that's the black one that you see. And the one in the top is really, really, really soft. And that is it's synthetic. But anyways, it's really, really soft. And um, what this brush does, these brushes. What they do is um, they're supposed to give you like an airbrush kind of look for your foundation. Um, I also like using it for um, cream blushes or just regular blushes. Um, so yeah, they're supposed to give you like a flawless, um, beautiful skin without it looking too thick. Um, and how you would use this brush is you would either apply your foundation on your hand or on a petri dish or on a, the cap of the foundation itself um, wherever you usually do your foundation but um, you would pick up I usually do it on my hand so I'd put foundation on and I'd pick up some product with um, the brush and then you would stipple it on your face like that and you put it wherever you want it you do it in sections so let's say I did this part of my face right here. So and then after I got it all stippled on, I would then um, blend it with the brush. And this is a regular foundation brush. And this brush, it's synthetic bristles, and it's really dense. Um, I like using this brush for um, certain areas. I like using it also for um, concealing my eyes. This brush I got on eyeslipsface.com. Again, I'm going to be putting all the information on the bottom. And it's just a regular foundation brush. Um, I also have this one and this one. I got these two. They're the same. I got it in a set um, on eBay. Um, the owner of the owner of these doesn't have her shop anymore, so I can't recommend you or get them. But um, yeah, they came in a set, and they're all the same. And like I mentioned, they're really dense, and they're great for precision 
um, foundation application. Another e.l.f. brush. And this is not a foundation brush, but there's a lot of um, YouTube gurus that do you like using this brush because it's so dense, yet the bristles are very, very, very extremely soft. But um, they do like using this also for stippling. Um, I just like using this as um, either a powder brush or to blend out my makeup really well. What I like using this for is I like using this um, for my contour and blending my contour, applying blush, applying powder on my face. So I really like this. This is one of my favorite brushes. So I really like this. And this one, by the way, is called um, the Flat Top Powder Brush, I believe. Um, you can check out the website, elf, uh, eyeslipsface.com. Next brushes I'm going to be talking about are blush brushes. And I have one, I have two of the brushes. I have other ones, but um, I don't really use it that much. So I'm just going to be talking about these two. It's by Jerome Alexander. It doesn't have a name on here, but yeah. Um, I love this brush because it's so small. And it's, um, it works a lot like a kabuki brush. I don't know where my kabuki brush is, so I'm going to be posting a picture of it so you can get an idea of what it is. Um, I love this brush. It's really big. The bristles are very dense, yet very soft. And this would be um, for applying powder on your face, for um, applying finishing powder, or for applying blush to your face. I love this brush. It's really cool. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I had this since um, it lasted that long, so I don't know. I like it. This brush, this one is Eco Tools, and you can find these brushes at um, your local drugstore, Walmart, Rite Aid. You can find this at Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS shops, any drugstores near you. Um, the handle is bamboo, so I like this one um, for applying blush. I actually use this for applying the blush and um, the highlight to my cheeks. It's, it goes on really, really, really soft, so I like that. Um, the next brush I'm going to be talking about, um, I only have one of these. Yeah, I only have one of these. Um, this is my e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Angled Foundation Brush. Um, I don't use this for foundation. What I do use it as is, um, I would use this for contouring. You can use this down your nose for contouring around your nose and in the center. And um, you can see it goes at an angle. And the reason for that is it helps you go to certain areas so you don't have to, like, as opposed to using a brush, say, like this one, where you would, like, wouldn't get a precise. Um, application with this brush. The next brush I have is a fan brush. This is what it looks like. And this one is synthetic and it's really really thin and um, this is from Royal and Langnickel and I got this at my local um, craft store, Michael's. And how you would use this brush is you would um, you know when you apply um, eyeshadow to your eyes you get a lot of fallout so that's what this one is good for is sweeping out the fallout in your hair um, on your cheeks and also it's good for um, again contouring and applying um, highlight to your cheekbones and yeah so that's what this brush does I only have one of these um, a lot of makeup companies do sell these brushes by the way um, they usually come in sets so check that out. This one cost me about, I think it was like three or four bucks at the Michaels store. So um, Michaels actually have a lot of good brushes. So check them out. They're not only for um, painting and um, stuff like that. You know, they have really good dupes for makeup brushes there too. So um, check them out.